pastoring this church. Sister Marlowe and I have spent 50 Christmases together with the people of this church. We're starting our 51st year ministry here, and God has been I look out tonight and I see the setting, Christmas evening, and the atmosphere that goes with just the name of the Savior being born. And we take time to give him the salute on his birth into this world, the Son of God becoming a Son of Man, that the sons of men might become the sons of God. Yeah, amen. That's as simple as it is. And when I look and see all of you and uh, the children and each one, every family, I too delight in seeing those that have grown up here in the church. And uh, I look back and saw I too, Brother Rose Chris, if he grew up here in this world, this is your home church. You came up as a young man. Now your son is with you, growing tall and strong, and uh, it's great to see you. And then, of course, the younger people have grown up here. Brother Jared, he's here tonight. I'm so glad to see you. You're nearing uh, a little bit closer to being a father, aren't you? A little bit closer, a little nearer. And so we are thankful to see all of the people of God here in this place. And uh, we look at ones that have come in this last year. I was talking with Sister Teresa. Here, hold up your hand, Teresa. Some don't know you. She just came into the church just a few days ago. Yes. And uh, just her and her husband, Rick, and she hurried up today where she could be in the service. I saw her in the nursing home. I spent about half my day or more visiting the sick in the nursing homes, the, uh, those not privileged to be out, and having prayer with people like Sister Jewel Wright and <coughs> Sister Maddox and on through Brother Embler. And I just had a great time just going in and out of the nursing home and visiting them and seeing them and wishing them well over this uh, day that we have here <coughs> called Christmas. And then uh, Lisa came in this last year, and I'm glad to see, uh, God bless you, <laughs> the, the name got away. I, I, I tell me, say it out loud, where I can hear it again there, young man. Anthony. Oh, we're so glad. Let's welcome him here tonight. enjoy a conversation with you, but I enjoy that. And we're so welcome Same tonight. Here. So welcome in this church. I want you to be at home. Don't be strange at all because this is a very informal group of family here. And then about all the others, and I'm looking around seeing many others, but um, I want to welcome in the center section here tonight, Brother Adolph's mother, uh, Rosella's mother and family here. Oh, look at all this family. Probably two pews or more. And where's mom? I'm trying to locate her out there, right? Right there you are. Well, if you stand up. I want everybody to see what Adolph was able to do. Mother here. Welcome. Look at all the family here. Rosella's family, and we're so glad and happy that you came. And then I have a special blessing tonight. Uh, I don't get this very often, and I kind of get a lump in my throat, and I'm, uh, I'm carried away in my emotions. But my youngest brother is here tonight, and his wife, Kenny and Belinda Marble. I don't know, Kenny, I know that you had a rough time with those legs of yours, but you think you could stand up and let everybody see you? This is my little brother. Kenny and 
and we invite you in the morning. You're not tied up with family, and I'm not going to criticize uh, those that have that decision to make, uh, but we will be here for fellowship breakfast at 9 o'clock in the morning for all, you're all invited, and 10 o'clock worship. And then we'll be through for the day because we're not going to follow our regular schedule of 2 and 6 for an afternoon church and a morning church. The bilingual service at 10.30 normally, 2 o'clock, and then 6, but we're not following that tomorrow. We'll be here for the fellowship breakfast at 9 in our church cafeteria, and then we'll be here at 10 for worship, and then we'll be fellowshipping family the rest of the day. You're invited to come. You're invited to be a part, and uh, we're just so glad to see each one of you. I see Brother Don Norman over there. I was out to visit you, and you had already taken flight. <laughs> you had left. They told me you were not there. So you missed me going out there to see you, but I see you now. What was it, Brother Pipkins, our a brother we all love so much here in the church? He said, I'm glad I see you, and I'm glad you see me. And I'm glad we see one another. There's a song Brother Rosella sings it. Uh, it's like fire in winter's cold. Sing it, Brother. Would you, would you sing that, Brother Adolf? Praise the name of the